Bright Dust is a currency used for buying cosmetics in the Eververse store. With Festival of the Lost right around the corner and the dawning after that, you're going to need a lot of Bright Dust. That's why in this video, I'll go over the best ways to grind for Bright Dust so you don't have to spend your life savings on ornaments and emotes. If you're new to the channel, I'm Marshix and I make Destiny 2 guides for solo players. If you enjoy my content, all I ask is that you click like on the video. There are currently many sources for Bright Dust, but most of them can only be obtained once. These are all going to be the best bang for your buck as long as you haven't done them before. You can get a lot from the Season Pass every 10 levels, starting with 200 at rank 9 and going up to 2000 at rank 100. If you watch until the end, I'll tell you a way that you can max out your Season Pass extremely fast, and it's the way that I've already been able to reach rank 400 this season. You can also get a large amount of Bright Dust from Seasonal Challenges. These give various amounts, but the final challenge will give you significantly more. If I remember correctly, it's normally 2000, or around that, so you definitely don't want to miss out on it. Like I said before, these are all one and done sources, so if you're trying to farm for as much as possible, you're going to want to do one of these next two methods. The first method is completing Vendor Weekly Challenges. These require you to complete 8 bounties over the course of a week, and they give 120 per vendor. The vendors that do give Bright Dust are Zavala, Shax, and the Drifter. These can be done once per character per week, which results in over 1,000 Bright Dust per week just by doing a few bounties a day. I know that's somewhat limited, so that's why I saved the best method until now. But first, if you're finding this guide helpful, make sure you hit like on the video. So you need to start off by blocking your matchmaking. We need to do all of this in strikes, and you really don't want other people to get in your way or pull you through the strike. You can block matchmaking on Xbox by loading into the game on an alternate account, it can be a free to play account, and then swapping back to your main account. You can re-enable matchmaking by restarting your game. On PlayStation, you can block your matchmaking by changing your system's date and time to any time far in the future. You may need to restart your console after doing this. And finally, for PC, it's a little more complicated than that, so I'll link a guide to that in a pinned comment down below. After you do that, go to Zavala and you'll notice his repeatable bounties give 10 bright dust per bounty. Go ahead and grab 5 of these. You can do this at the tower, but the fastest way will be by using the Destiny Companion app on your phone. So for over a month, I've been doing some testing. And by testing, I mean spending hundreds of thousands of glimmer buying bounties. I've come to the conclusion that Zavala has only a few unique bounties. We can use that knowledge to determine which strike is the best to load into. What I've found is that some of the bounties are always set, and some rotate weekly. The ones that he can always give are 50 stasis kills, 25 solar kills, 25 super, grenade, and melee kills, 5 finishers, 25 taking kills, and 25 scorn kills. The ones that differ from week to week are the weapon specific bounties. So for instance, last week we could get pulse rifle, auto rifle, and sidearm bounties, but this week we can only get SMG and auto rifle bounties. With that knowledge in mind, firstly, make sure you have weapons for whichever bounties are available that week. Then load into the Corrupted Strike on the Dreaming City. The reason for this is because the Dreaming City is the only destination where both Taken and Scorn spawn, and those are two of the set bounties. You can do all of your bounties in the Patrol Zone, but you can also go over to the Blind Well for tons of enemies in a condensed area. Here, you can get all of your bounties done in only a few minutes. Once you finish those up, go to Orbit, pop your bounties, and buy some more. Continue running these inside the Corrupted Strike on your own, and you'll get 50 Bright Dust per run. If for whatever reason the enemy bounties do change, I would recommend loading into the Brood Hold Strike, as there are tons of Scorn and Hive as you load in, Fallen in the second room of the Strike, and Cabal in Sorix Cut. Let's assume you can complete 5 of these repeatable bounties in 5 minutes. It's probably not going to take that long, but to make the math easy, let's say 5 minutes. That means we can do about 12 runs per hour, and we get 50 Bright Dust per run, which comes to a total of 600 Bright Dust per hour. Sure, it's a little bit of a slow grind, but it'll be worth it in those cases where you're just a little bit too short to get a new armor set. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to grind out your Season Pass as fast and efficient as possible as a solo player, you can check out this video where you can get up to 1 million XP per hour. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.